Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a lower body circuit, um, but today's circuit is really going to be focused on the outer and inner thighs. So you won't need any kind of equipment, you just need some space, definitely a soft surface to lay on, um, and also I'm using just one of these medium mini bands for extra resistance. Um, you don't need, necessarily need this, but it is going to make a very big difference. Um, it really just helps you to properly engage those muscles that you should be. And also for different exercises, it just provides extra resistance. Um, and also you will need some kind of slippery surface and socks. So we're going to be sliding our feet along the ground. That's just for one of the exercises. So if you don't have sort of like a slippery surface, don't worry about it. I'll give you another exercise that you can do during that. But if you do, slippery surface and some socks so that you can slide your feet along. And that is all you will need for this workout. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so if you're using a resistance band, go ahead and put that on just above your knees and then we will start the timer. We're gonna start with just doing some basic banded squats. If you don't have a resistance band, what I really want you to focus on is just really engaging and doing nice and slow and controlled squats. All right, let's do this. All right, so feet just a little bit further than shoulder width. Toes pointing a little bit outward, sinking that booty backward. I find when I'm using the resistance bands, especially doing any kind of squat variation, it really helps me to properly engage this area, just sort of like my underbum. Whereas when I'm doing them without the resistance band, I don't really feel that. So 20 more seconds. And we're gonna keep the resistance band on for the next exercise. And we're gonna to head to the ground. to the ground. On our knees in a tabletop position, we're just going to do some fire hydrants. So keeping the resistance band on, adjust it if you need to. Leg lifts outward and back in. Hold it at the top there for half a second and slowly bring it back down nice and controlled. Five more seconds and then we'll switch to the other side. Off. 
Feet come much wider than shoulder width apart. Toes facing forward. We're just gonna take some side lunges. So sinking that booty back. You don't want your knees to go over your toes. You should really feel this in the back of your glute and also your outer thigh or under bum. <clears throat> Thirty more seconds. Sit nice and deep into those lunges. Last one. All right, you might need something to hold on to for this. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. We're gonna do, I'm bringing my dance background into this one. Feet are in first position if you're a dancer, or toes facing outward, heels together. We're just gonna take, this is called a plie, or this is actually a grand plie. So knees are completely side to side. What I want you to focus on is really tucking that bum under you're gonna feel it right in here. And then when you're coming up, I really want you to squeeze your inner thighs together. Slow and controlled. Really take your time, especially if you're new to this. Um, your balance might be a little bit off. All right, resistance band comes on around your ankles. You're gonna keep a slight bend in your knees. So you're gonna be a little bit over, just like so. And we're just gonna take steps to the side. Side to side. So again, if you don't have a resistance band, I would say continue doing those plies for this next 30 seconds. <clears throat> because this won't really do anything if you don't have a resistance band. But if you are using a resistance band, you're really going to feel this in your under bum and your outer thigh. 15 more seconds. about half. One foot stays on the yoga mat, the other one with the sock on the ground. Sliding into those side lunges. So instead of moving from side to side, you're going to slide out and then you're really going to squeeze your inner thighs to bring it back together. All right, and other side. So again, sliding and squeezing those inner thighs. but this time wider, so wider than shoulder width. Taking a nice, again, grand plie as far as you can go. I understand I'm probably a little bit more flexible than most people. Um, you're gonna sink nice and deep into it and again, squeezing those inner thighs on the way up. I really want you to tuck that booty under. In the last 20 seconds, we're gonna take a pulse. Here we go, so nice down and pulse it up. I like to have my hands at heart center or on my head. 10 more seconds. Really pulse. 
All right, on the ground, on your elbow, legs bent and together. You're gonna want to be in more of a straight line with your body rather than your knees being in front of you. Legs come up, you push yourself up and this leg comes out almost into like a frog position. And we're gonna switch to the other side. I'll do it this way so you can kind of see it a little bit better. So I'm also not coming all the way down where my hip is touching the ground. I'm pushing upwards and just coming down to press back up. especially on a glute day in the gym. It's really important that you activate those muscles before working them. So that first round was almost like a real activation kind of workout. And then if you did this again, a couple more rounds, you're really gonna start to feel the burn. Um, so I would challenge you to do a few more rounds of this, but that's a quick little 10 minute routine. You can throw in, you can do absolutely anywhere. You can do it at home. You can do it in the gym. It's totally up to you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little outer inner thigh workout and let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss another workout and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!